I'm gonna OD on this stuff. Laugh, I wanna laugh. <laughs> All right, let's get comfy in our seats. Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I am, of course, Eddie B. Nice to see y'all. And we are back with you again today for another reaction video. And uh, today we're gonna get into some more Michael Che today, All right? Well, uh, I've done, I think, one other video of Michael Che in it, and uh, it was hella funny. Uh, I like his delivery, you know what I mean? He always like has um, a very odd way of looking at things, but he always makes it funny at the end with the uh, credible punchlines, great setups and all that. And I love it, man. So we're going to get into one from him. And uh, this clip is apparently from his new stand-up special. It's called Shame the Devil. Now, I have not seen this special yet. It's uh, it's on Netflix, and I haven't uh, checked it out. But I saw a couple clips, and I thought, you know what? Let's see what he's talking about with this one, man. Because uh, if there's one thing that I love, man, is when, um, when a new stand-up special comes out, I get hyped. You know what I mean? Especially if it's from a comedian that I like. And Michael Che is definitely one of the guys that I like. He's also on uh, Saturday Night Live. Um, I don't know what else he does other than stand up in that because, you know, I just, you know, flimsy when it comes to paying attention to things. But other than that, man, he's really funny dude and we're going to get into one from him, like I said. And this one is going to be titled, The Time of the Month. Hmm, okay. Well, <laughs> I can only assume that this has to do with a woman's period, but then again, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It might mean something else. But hey, man, we'll see what he's talking about with this one. So yeah, one more time, y'all. Michael Che with uh, the time of the month. And if you like this reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Keep everything going. All right. Well, you know what, man? Um, it's been a while since I've done um, done a clip with uh, Michael Che, and uh, I definitely got to do more of him because uh, he's he's. I think he's kind of underrated as a as a stand up comedian. But then again, you know, maybe people, a lot more people like him than I realize. You know, maybe I'm just a little bit narrow minded in my investigation of things. But hell no, don't even matter. Let's go ahead and get into this one, y'all. Michael Che, the time of the month, right here on ADB TV. Let's get this one cracking. Messing up my stuff. <laughs> Let's get situated here, and here we go. We fight all the time. We fight over stupid shit. Just because I didn't know. Stuff I didn't know. I always hated that she assumed that I would know things that I couldn't possibly know. Like, I didn't know periods weren't fun. Okay. It looks fun in the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was about periods, all right. I have sisters. They get their periods. But you know, they didn't even call it a period. They'd be like, it's my time of the month. And I'd be like, okay, have a good time. <laughs> oh. Can't wait till I grow up and get some time for myself. Oh, man. And that's all they'd say about it. They never even fucking talked about it. They didn't talk about it the way I would talk about it if I got a period. Oh, man. If I got a period, it'd be all I talked about. <laughs> okay. It'd be my excuse for everything. It'd be like, Shay, you're three hours late for work. Nigga, I got my period. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We understand that that's the third time this month you've used that excuse. <laughs> well, I play sports in high school. My shit's irregular. What the fuck you want from me? <laughs> Exactly. More bloated and shit. Aww. Oh. My girl would get her period, man, and she wouldn't even say nothing about it. She would just be suffering. I would feel so bad. I know she didn't want to talk to me about it because she thought she maybe couldn't talk to me about it. So I would try to say something to let her know that she could talk to me about it if she wanted to talk to me about it. Like, I'd ask her. I'd say, hey, what are you, on your period or something? <laughs> Yeah, that's not how you do that. <laughs> she would get so mad. Why the fuck would you ask me that? Oh, I, mean, I don't know, because you're miserable and I would be too if I was stuffed with cotton. Oh, man. <laughs> <sighs> ah, hit my nose ring. She would make it seem like it was a dumb guess. Like, it was a fucking good guess. Yeah. She got a period for a week every month. It's like a one in four chance I'm right any time I ask that question. <laughs> it's not a stupid question. No. If you knew that I smoke crack for one week every month, and then one day you see me outside butt naked and Timberlands trying to sell a refrigerator door. Oh, hell no. <laughs> you're like, Chad, you smoking crack this week? Why would you ask me that? We a fool for that. 
It's dismissive. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's the end of that one. All right. All right, well, that was a short clip, but I liked it. <laughs> All right, man, that was Michael Che with uh, the time of the month. Well, uh, here we go. A man getting ready to talk about this, but uh, yes, I'm gonna do it. Um, to unpack a little bit, I'm gonna be very, very honest with the ladies out there when I say this, man. Like, any man in his correct right minds, you know, I'm gonna use both of those words, correct, right, you know, affirmative, whatever, I don't know if I'm even using that word, right? I don't, I do not care about your period. And when I say I don't care about it, this is what I mean by that, okay? I'm not a woman, so I don't know what it's like. It's not my job to care, it's not my job to feel sympathetic, it's not my job to help you with anything. It's, it's just not my job as a man to do anything about that. And that's contrary to what other my, uh, other people might believe, but I don't really care about that either, you know? I was raised to believe that because I was a, because I was a male, a boy, that I was nothing. You know, I was raised to believe that by society, by things that I used to say, and everyone like, ooh, we gotta make sure this don't go off the rails. He's a young boy, we can't have him thinking this. Like I was, a lot of uh, men are raised to believe that we're nothing. And we have to really cower to all of the complaining and all of the finger pointing and the nitpicking and all that stuff that some women will do. You know, I mean, I, I really, really don't care, you know, because it's not my burden to deal with. However, I will say this, though. Uh, when women say things like, oh, well, if you bled, you know, once a month, you'd be feeling different. I'm pretty sure I would be because that would be me being a woman instead of being a man. <laughs> you know, I, I just don't understand why that's not more easier to get behind than just, you know, complaining and talking smack. But I will say this to the ladies, though, as well. If uh, if you had a dick for one day, you would kill yourself. And I'm being dead serious when I say that, man. It's not about dealing with the differences of having a period or whatever. I'm not talking about that. What I'm saying is, is that men and women by themselves deal with things that are very inconvenient. You know what I mean? Women have theirs, we have ours. But only with the women, uh, only with the women is it like acceptable to complain about it and get sympathy for it. And I don't agree with that at all. And then uh, I know it's gonna make me look misogynistic or whatever to some women. Don't care about that either, you know, because you know, um, if you, just like I said, if you had to deal with having a dick for one day, you would not wanna be a man anymore. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, because you know, the, 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 to really get inside uh, the other's heart and, and brain, you know what I mean? It's not, not really anything that anyone wants to be bothered with, you know? And it's just like, I just don't understand why it's acceptable to keep using that as an excuse to like be an asshole or to be, or to, or, or to get violent or to be all like, you know, miserable. If it's your deal, handle that. I remember growing up, I used to hear so many things about it where people would say, oh girl, girls on a period, you know, oh my goodness, I'm nervous. Nervous for what? What are they gonna do? <laughs> if it makes them so weak and they're all feeling all these bad ways, I mean, what, do you have to worry about physical ramifications? No. You know, we gotta worry about them complaining. Okay, well don't rub salt in the wound, but at the same time, I have nothing to worry about with this whole thing, you know? And, uh, you know, and, and, and other things that happened growing up, man, oh, I got chewed out for this. I remember I was asked one time as a young kid to go to the store and buy tampons for, for somebody. And I didn't even have to yell and scream. I just said, no, no thank you. And then everyone looked at me like, uh, excuse me? Like, wh why would you say no? And it was like, uh, uh, she needs this. And I'm like, well, then she, with all of her complaining, with all of her putting hands on dudes, getting up in their face, pointing and all that, and all the yip yapping and jaw jacking and all the clapping in your face and all that stuff. If she could do all that, she could walk to the store and get her own tampons. Don't care, you know what I mean? And when I say I don't care, like I said, it's not coming from a place of, um, of, uh, of rage or nothing like that. It's just that it's your situation. You handle it because you're a woman, remember? You're so much stronger, so much more mature, so much, <laughs> so much smarter and all, and, and, and all this smarter, stronger, more mature, right? But yet, can't uh, find a way to shut up about the period. Can't find a way to get your own feminine products, you know? Not my problem, you deal with it. And um, 
it, it's just how I really feel about it, you know. And uh, women have really hated me for saying that, but then again, you know what you're gonna get when you mess with me. So that's all I gotta say about that. But um, I've never really had uh, to deal with it in, in depth, you know what I mean? I've, I've had females try to use it to start fights and you know try to get a uh, get an edge in on me, but nah. I'd rather leave you than to listen to you run your mouth about that. Do not care. <laughs> so yeah, man, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right there, man. One more time, Michael Che with the time of the month. And if you like that reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Keep everything going, like I always say. So yeah, man, uh, Michael Che, man, he's a funny ass dude, man. And um, since he got this new special, hopefully I can squeeze in a few more clips of this one before I watch the whole thing, you know, front to back, because you remember what I told y'all about how I watch full on stand-up specials. But yeah, I mean, he's a funny ass dude. And I like how he described all this, you know? If I if I can't say anything else about this, just one more thing. I don't like the um, the uh, the uh, the attitude that some men have about it when they're like advocating for things and how they like try to put themselves and defend. Like, don't do that. You know what I mean? It, it's falling on deaf ears. And then women don't care either way. You know what I mean? It's not like you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna uh, defend women, you know, your way, defend women your way into their pants or nothing like that, man. Cause who knows, they might be on their period that day. <laughs> but yeah, man, this is gonna be Eddie BTV signing off one more game here. Uh, Michael Chair, funny ass dude, like I said, man. And uh, he's got so much stuff um, that I haven't checked out yet. The first thing I checked out was he had a little bit more of a different attitude on stage, a little bit a different feel. You know, he's gotten better, you know, over the years and now he's changed up a little bit. But overall, he's still the same funny dude, man. And I enjoyed uh, uh, watching this clip today. So, yeah, man, thank y'all for tuning in one more time. I hope y'all had some fun. And uh, to the ladies, if you hate me, well, don't care about that either, man. I'm just speaking my feelings from my heart and how I feel and think about things. And uh, if you can't handle that, then hmm, you got bigger problems than your period. <laughs> so, yeah, man, thank y'all for tuning in one more time. Love and appreciate y'all. Peace.